Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. The channel is the No Matrix. No. I had to put my hat on, man. It's cold out here. Take, probably take my heat. About a minute to kick in. But I gotta talk about this with y'all. So Tony Gaskins. I saw that somebody pinned on a video that I was watching. Uh, Tony Gaskins finding the right mate. Y'all gotta excuse me. Make sure, I, I'd rather pick my nose than have a booger in it. And y'all see it. Wasn't nothing there, but still. You know, I feel like something there. So excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. All right. But anyway, wait, hold on. Let me see how dark. Oh my good. Well, we ought to talk like this because where I am, they'll try to pull me over for having that light on. So, Tony Gaskins, he did. Somebody pinned and uploaded a video where he had was talking about finding the right mate. What I want to tell you is don't listen to him. You there is there is no right mate. These women act right when they want to act right. That don't make them right. Because if they decide they don't want to act right no more, then you're just going to be stuck with them because you thought they were right. There is no right mate. That's foolishness. And I don't know why people keep trying to say it, but there's no such thing. So, I want to tell you not to listen to that. Now, if, if you choose on somebody and they appear to be right, it's all right to go some steps with them. But it's also all right for you to dump them or divorce them if they start flipping out on you. I work in jails. And one thing I noticed is women, children, and criminals have similar behavior. Like, you can almost lump them together. All three will try to manipulate you. And when people try to manipulate you, they'll try to insult you. And when they're insulting you, what they're basically doing is trying to make you feel like you're less than. And they are more. So when people insult you, remember, we did the content by request, where I said what the Most High say about you and what you say about yourself. If anybody says otherwise, you don't listen to it. If you listen to them, you making them an item. And if you look at Revelation 21, 7 and 8, the Most High hated coward and he hate people. Well, I ain't gonna say he hate. He doesn't like cowards and he doesn't like when people idolize other people. So if you want to tick him off, put somebody on the pedestal that don't belong on no pedestal. But when these guys get to talking about picking the right mate, they, they grifting on you. They grifting. Okay, was Eve the right mate? The first woman? What did Eve do, y'all? Was Eve right for Adam? If Eve was right for Adam, Adam would have never been in that garbage. Eve was right when she first got created. But over time, she started wanting to do her own thing, just like most of these women. Where y'all think they get it from, man? They want to do their own thing. Then you got people like she was seven, AKA Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle, training women to be 
304s. Telling them to use you for money. Mad please. If, okay, if you're going to let a woman use you for money, then you might as well go to Route Coach Greg and others be taken. Just go ahead and pay for it up front. Get what you want and move on. And it's not that I'm endorsing that. <clears throat> it's not that I'm endorsing that. I'm just saying, if you had to choose, why would you try to be in a relationship with a gold digger when you can just have a gold digger anytime you want for the night? Prostitutes are gold diggers. Gold diggers are prostitutes. Strippers are gold diggers. Gold diggers are strippers. So, when you hear guys, these church guys, softening you up, emasculating you in regards to women, talking about submit one another. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you this right now. Anybody that's using that Ephesians submit to one another does not know the scripture and they should not be teaching anyone because that is not talking about marriage. Why would we why would we take what Cephas said, Peter, wives be subject to your own husbands and turn that into submit yourself to one another. You're not rightly dividing the word right. You can't do both. A, a wife can't be subject to a man that's submitting to her. That ain't how it works. The Bible told us men to dwell with them in an understanding way. You can't submit to a woman that's submitting to you. Y'all need to learn how to... A lot of people is trying to preach that don't even know the word. And that's part of the problem. People ain't getting free because they ain't hearing the truth. And the truth is that these women have a job to do and if they ain't going to do the job, why are you dealing with them? Why are you dealing with women who don't believe they're supposed to submit to you? Why are you dealing with women who won't take your last name? They want to hyphenate their name in there. Why are you dealing with women who you come home from work and you don't know how long her baby daddy been there? He probably done stuck it in her butt and blasted off in her mouth. Just that nasty, heinous stuff to him. I ain't trying to be nasty. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You don't know what he did to her. don't know that that's that's why you gotta be careful dealing with these single mothers because even if okay even if she don't live with you right but you call yourself dating her you call yourself going with her and you come you ride past her house and her baby daddy car out there you you leave you ride you come back past two hours later and he's still there How are you going to take that? Because she's going to, again, criminals, kids, women, they'll lie to get their way. They'll lie to get out of trouble. All three. So any band is doing it, you know you acting like a woman. That's what y'all know what I teach. I tell y'all not to lie to these women. For what? What they going to do? Leave? Good. You should be happy if a woman leaves you. Because when they decide to leave, that didn't just start. That been in their heart for a while. Think about it. She's been saying, you keep on, I'm going to leave. That's because it's in her heart. Y'all be trying to have a relationship with women that's threatening to leave. You ain't got no relationship with her. She probably already has sex with somebody else. She probably be talking on the phone with somebody else. You ain't got no relationship with her. How you got a relationship with somebody that's threatening to leave? Come on now. So don't listen to people, none of these church guys, about finding the right women. And a lot of these church women, they done had trains ran on them. They done did some of everything. And they think 
because they made a, a spiritual decision that that just erases everything they done did. Not in relationships, it don't. If the Most High choose to forgive you, that's between you and Him. But your works still stand in regards to relationships. If you done been getting your vagina knocked all around, and now you want to talk about how you saved and you celibate. Yep, as soon as you get moist, your vagina is going right back to its original shape and you gonna lay there talking about somebody little or talking about I he just don't do it for you. No, you just did too much. So y'all get to listening to these guys. I'm I, I I tune them out, man. I tune them out. I believe in giving women chances, but I don't believe and put my hope in no woman. Show me. You're gonna have to show me a whole lot. Some of them, they be nice to you and they be trying to help you and do stuff for you. You be like, man, she trying to look out for a brother. Then you start spending more time with them and that little mean streak start coming out and you start seeing the side of them that you didn't even know was there. That's why. Now, shit. I'm going to tell you about me. A woman can only fool a guy like me for so long. Because I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. If you got a woman that really trying to help you, really trying to look out for you, a smart man would be like, okay, let me see what she's talking about. But then you get to, now here come her baby daddy. Now here come this dude, that dude. Like, whoa, okay. Nothing there. Moving on. Next. So, don't let these guys, don't buy these guys' courses, man. How to find the right person. These dudes, listen. Let me tell all you YouTubers something, man. All of y'all, every married YouTuber, every married man on YouTube, let me tell you something. You ain't the cause for your woman doing right. She just wants to do that. That's how she wants to be. It ain't nothing special with you, man. Stop thinking that. I know you want to act cocky and arrogant. It has nothing to do with you, man. You got a unicorn, you got a unicorn, because that's a unicorn. But a unicorn can turn into a wild bronco tomorrow. They can. So don't flatter yourself, man. You ain't, you ain't putting the, giving her the rod. They ain't got nothing to do with it. These women ain't gonna tell you if somebody was better than you. Unless they get mad. Sometimes they will if they get mad. But, it ain't no rod. Guys done hit the bottom and still broke up. And it's not, it's not your money. She just chosen to do right by you. Just like the woman you with that you done divorced or you finna divorce. That don't mean she gonna be that bad person to the next person. That's just the way it is, man. It's just that's the way it is. That's what me, we deal with as men. She'll be a witch to you and a unicorn to somebody else. That's just the way it is women are trying to punk you and when they can't now they want to move on because they can't punk you they can't when that little holding that little stuff to they self don't work now they want to move on and by the way if a woman ain't giving you none get you another woman get you another woman she trying to put them courts on you this, this why look man look 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 let me tell you. 
If a woman is denying you sex, right? That's rebellion. That's witchcraft. Remember, the rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And so you go out and you get another woman, which you should. And now she want to play the victim, talking about you cheating and all this other stuff. She cheated by not having sex with you. What's going through her head? What is she doing? So, but then they want to take you to court and get alimony child support. The moment she start holding that sex back, that's the moment you should start hiding money. She start telling she start, she don't deserve to know how much you got. She doing that to you? She, she shouldn't know what you got. Why? Why would you tell her? That's a up. They should always think you got less than you actually got. They always should think you have less than you actually have when they deny you sex. And another thing, if she commits any, I don't care if she just tongue kiss a dude, that's, that's, it's different for them. A woman is supposed to be completely loyal to a man. That's how the most I set it up. They only get one man. We can have as many women as we want. They can take that. If they don't like that, tell them to take it up with the most high. So any act is cheating. I don't care if she just got uh, the tip of his finger touched her little stuff. That's cheating. She cheats. You dump her. You dump her. Man, you know you can have a hundred, hundred women if you wanted to. Why do guys put up with all this mess from these women? I blame the church. I do. I, I blame the church for not teaching properly relationships. Because relationships are the thing of the most high God. But they not teaching people properly. You're not supposed to. A man, biblically, you ain't supposed to take nothing off no woman. Nothing. If she is in cooperative, uncooperative in any way, you can divorce her. You can. And the only reason why he said what he said in Matthew, he said their hearts was hard. Like those guys... Was, was just looking to get rid of women for any reason. Like she burnt the toast or she didn't cook the eggs right. They were trying to get rid of. So, that's why he said the hardness of your heart. You gotta study your biblical history. But, Again, stop listening to people like Tony Gaskin, man. He's just trying to sell stuff. He, what he's saying is not even factual. These women are not wives. They're not wife material. They've done too much. They got too much trauma, too much baggage. They're not loyal. They're not faithful. They're not going to submit. Terrible. Just absolutely terrible. Terrible. So, anyway, I got three videos to upload. Stop listening to these guys talk about finding right women and stuff. That's that's fact. That's not factual information. They lying to you. They grifting on you. And you got to know that for your own good. Thanks for watching. Keep tuning in for more videos.